what's going on guys welcome back to the channel today we're going to be doing our first major modification if you will to our 2022 new ranger with the trimmer package i'm going to call this one a major modification because sadly you know ford kind of left us high and dry when it came to the lights so we partnered up again with dive dynamics guys everything that you see in this video and the next one because we're going to break it up into segments check out the video description below follow the links let dive know that you saw this video and that it helps you out and you can get a good deal the trimmer comes with obviously a bunch of goodies here from the factory we got the tires we got somewhat of a lift we have heavy duty shock suspension pretty off-road worthy as it is but if we come around to like the front for example these headlights fog lights all the lights around the vehicle are just subpar so i think this is going to be a really cool video for anybody out there that has one of these trucks it doesn't have to be a tremor package this is going to be your video because we're going to be displaying because we're going to be installing pretty much like i said their full catalog all of these lights all around the truck front rear side all of it and this thing looks so good to include something really special that diode sent me and that is going to be the ditch lights this is something i'm really excited for they're going to live right about here yeah so let's head back to the garage start installing a bunch of lights all over this truck see what kind of a difference it's going to make and i think it's going to be vast let's have a good video let's go check it out we got their elite series fog lamps this is going to be its own video so make sure that you come back to watch this one for the installation this is something newer that they've developed huge thank you again to diodynamics this is awesome got a bunch of stuff here wow, check this out a lot of stuff here so and there's our ditch lights. I think this is what we're going to start on first because I'm super excited to see these on the truck. Getting this well, this is going to be our, yep, hardware. So excited for these. Check this out, dude. Oh my gosh, dude. As we choose, we can turn them on or off with the aux switches that are inside of the truck. But this is going to be so sick. So they're going to live about right here and you can angle them up any which way that you want. All right, so we're testing things out. So um, I'm going to go over the wiring here in a bit. What's cool about, like I said, with the trimmer, you get the aux switches. Makes it's so easy to install so i'm just going back and forth between the diode harness and our number one switch which is going to be actually yellow so i'll explain this in a minute but going back and forth between the yellow and the blue so with blue we have an amber colored ditch light but if we go to obviously this is not final i'm just testing see it's flickering and then we have the super bright white light that looks so killer seriously seriously insane bright so i think that that's the way we're gonna leave it okay so with the ranger trimmer all of these how they're illuminated are in the on position so if they're off like that they won't be illuminated obviously so with this one i turn it off and the lights go away turn it on you see them come back That's so sick. All right, so I'm gonna discuss the wiring here uh, in a couple of minutes. I did jump the gun a little bit because I was just testing things out and seeing how this all went together with it, with the aux switches on the trimmer package. And <laughs> obviously the dish lights, as you see, are already installed, but it's honestly easy enough. Diadynamics has a really good out to video uh, explaining in a couple of minutes how to mount them up. And honestly, if you look at them, if you, if you open the box and you can't figure out how that actually just pieces together with a couple of screws because there's just like a handful of them i mean you shouldn't probably be even attempting to install this just take it to a shop and then let them handle everything but it goes together really easy so you can turn these around you can aim them down you can aim them towards the front towards the side because they are ditch lights any which which way that you want to they have left and right movement as well so you want them spread out you can do that i'm not an expert in wiring but if i can get this done and figured out you certainly can okay so before we move forward just to simplify things all right so if you have a trimmer or if you have a ranger or whatever you're going to find an aux panel somewhere so mine is right here by the driver's side in front of the battery on the ranger trimmer one two they're not in order but what you do is you refer to your manual okay and you see the switch box here and how this looks over here and then at the bottom of this junction you have this wire harness okay so these are going to go to different places of the vehicle or really whatever you want to use i mean it's not like it's not like green goes to the rear i mean you can if you want to if you want to put lights back there but these can go wherever you want you'll just for example take your harness from diadynamics and again we're going to use the yellow okay and then i'm going to use i lost my page and we're going to use 
number one, which is, I don't know if this is correct, but it works when I turned it on. So it's a yellow 25 amp. Um, also, there is a 25 amp fuse in line with this harness as well, and it's got its own relay as well. So anyway, I hooked it up to power. It works. I'm going to leave it alone. I'm just going to, you know, hide my wires and make sure everything looks, you know, factory as I can, as much as I can help it. But, you know, this is kind of pretty cool. You know, you've got six different ports here for your six different aux switches and whatever you want to plug up. This is where you go. All right, cool, let's move on. All right, so everything is wrapped up and I just wanna highlight, I wanna go over everything that I did as far as wiring and hiding the wires. So they give you, Diadynamics gives you like a football field length of wires, which is a good thing because you can round, it gives you the freedom to route any which way that you want to. So what I did was I plugged in, okay, so this male to female over here, and then I chased down underneath the cow. So I took all these push pins, up and I lifted this cow and there's a big empty cavity back there. So right here, there's a perfect little spot where it comes out. I've got the wires coming down along the fender. So everything is easy to get to. It's up out of the way, it's hidden, it's clean. So you can see that our headlights are on and then everything is in off position, but flip down and there we go. Of course, we'll take this out in the nighttime and see how actually bright this is, but you can see the difference between your regular halogen bulbs and this new LED, super, super lit. But the rest of this turn signals, LEDs, all of it's getting LED, and then eventually we do light bars and everything else. All right guys, now we're gonna move on to our LED side markers. So just shove your finger up in here. You're gonna feel in the back, you'll see it in a second, there's this little clip that you push up on and the whole thing just comes out like that. So I've already got this LED actually installed for the ease of the video, but when you're going to replace it, it literally just pops back in place. Plug it up in the back. Okay, you're gonna be good to go. Let's give it a test, show you what it looks like compared to the other. Open the door and it's on. And you can see how bright that is. That is freaking crazy. So come around to this side and compare. So now we have installed our new LED turn signals in the front. You can see how that looks. As we come over here to the OEM original, this is, uh, I think in my opinion, a little more orange. Hopefully this comes off my camera right. A little bit more orange and a little bit brighter. Old, new. So for the part of the video that actually matters, we're gonna put this to the test. We are out here, it's almost 10 o'clock at night in the field that we started the video in. We've got the Ranger behind me, all the lights are installed. Now let's take a walk around the truck real quick before we get to the driving portion. What we're gonna do is take some laps out in this big empty open field and there's a lot of shrubbery and uh, ditches out there and stuff like that so it's gonna be kind of hard to navigate i think with the factory headlights so we're gonna do one lap and then we're gonna do it again with the ditch lights and see if that makes an improvement all right so side markers definitely brighter again factory headlights and the fog lights okay but the switchbacks here if you call them that they're really turn signals are definitely deeper in color and brighter as well so makes them really stand out hopefully it comes off on camera the way that i really want it to but let's take a walk around the truck so i got a couple extra pieces that they sent me for the rear lights here didn't need to use them because on the trimmer these are all leds so we didn't replace those those are factory but that is all new okay so much much brighter and we already put it to test a little bit you can see how much it illuminates the bed so it makes working in the dark a little bit easier now as far as the lights go the ditch lights so you can see right in front of us okay and then check this out way brighter all right so let's put it to the test let's do a little lap around the field here and see if we can navigate and not tear up the truck because there's a bunch of debris and there's a bunch of stuff out here so we want to be careful and not hit anything and i think that we'll be fine it's pretty dark out here we got a factory with a lot of lights in the background but out in this section of the field it is completely dark I think that for especially nighttime driving this is going to be the number one thing that you want to do for, as far as off-roading because you got to be able to see yes tires come into play suspension all that but if you can't see you can't put any of that to use but i digress guys let's get in the field here let's do some work let's see uh how things improve Let's navigate. It's already pretty tough to tell what's in front of me, and I'm already about to hit something. So, um, all right, let's take this little turn. Yeah, I got to really kind of, oh my gosh, 
Okay, so yeah, I'm, I'm having a hard time seeing what's in front of me. Um, it may not look like that on camera, but it's a little dip there. So we're just driving around. There's a lot of shrubbery. And, uh, you know, this is nothing really intense as far as off-road. This is mostly a flat field with shrubbery and bushes and stuff like that. But just to kind of give you the idea of what it looks like driving around in the dark, I think is going to be the highlight of this video. You know, when you buy a truck like this, or any truck really, you know, you're going to want to be able to play. The point of having a truck is, you know, the ability to do stuff like this. So um, I'm hitting all kinds of shrubs. That's fine. It's a truck and let's come up here to our exit just a little circle now let's do it again so there's the entrance yeah so now we're back where we started so let's do it again with the lights on and see what kind of a difference it makes now as we shine the lights forward okay you can see how much brighter that gets you know the cutoff is really nice and we have a lot of forward visibility and again mine are angled slightly down which is i think where most people will probably do it anyway but you can see again the difference definitely a lot brighter hopefully on camera you guys can pick this up really well so let's do this again so as we go in you can see what it looks like now and now we flip them on so a lot more visibility and again we could add more light bars and stuff like that to the truck sky's the limit as far as you know things that we can do but i think that this is a really really worthwhile investment uh, for something as simple as a ditch light. Maybe you're living out in the country somewhere, right? Because you got a truck and it's deer season and there's nobody else on the road for you to blind. So could this help you in that regard? And I think the answer will definitely be yes. So let's do this. Let's turn them off. Man, now it looks like I have nothing on. Um, okay, so yeah. Nothing exciting to see here. There's this, so it just switched over to the uh, high beams. And yeah, you can barely see in front of you. But, we flip them on, we have a lot more forward visibility. Let's pretend it's deer season real quick. And this is what you're seeing. So, not a lot of visibility, but we turn them on. And then, I mean, look at that image. I appreciate everybody out there watching. Hopefully, again, this video helped you out. And I know that we skipped a lot of the how-to stuff as far as install, but it's really easy. And Diodynamics has their own YouTube channel, and they have video links attached to, like, every product that they have. So it, it's dummy-proof, if you will. Um, but as far as functionality, now you can see, hopefully, how this all has come together as a complete package. And we're not done yet. Remember, we still have fog lights, and we're going to do some other lights as well and just make this thing, you know, as bright as the sun at nighttime. So I appreciate all you guys watching. Be safe out there driving around, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Have a great day. Bye.